हेलो एवरीवन भावना गुनवानी दिस साइड टुडे इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट जंप स्टेटमेंट्स इन जावा बेसिकली जंपिंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर आल्सो द कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट दैट हेल्प्स टू मूव द प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूशन फ्रॉम वन लोकेशन टू अनदर दैट्स व्हाट वी ट्रांसफर द प्रोग्राम कंट्रोल फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर बेस्ड अपॉन द जंप कंडीशन वेदर आई नीड टू ब्रेक द iteration or i should continue with so basically the execution of a java program is done in a sequential order so these jump statements typically help us to uh, interrupt that iteration or a sequential iteration with the help of break and continue statement break statement is basically helps to terminate the execution of a loop or a switch case i should say switch case is very nice example over there break statement is very mandatory to navigate from one uh, case and then go out of the switch block if you would like to terminate i already discussed in the case of conditional constructs when the control encounters a break statement in a loop or a switch case it terminates the execution of the body with the remaining statements if any so this is how it works if there is any loop condition if it is true then statement gets executed when it reads the break statement if yes then will terminate the body if no then will continuing doing the loop condition or you can call it as in switch statement or the uh, condition that you are checking in the switch case itself let me help you with one of the example that we are already discussing in the case of loops i am considering that there is a loop that looks for a quit to abort your loop if not then whatever input user enters that needs to be printed onto the console even though i enter the input as a quit next time when the condition checks and the input is quit it will abort or terminate your loop but it will still print the quit let me tell you what i am talking about for example if i write here hello so i am getting hello to be printed this way but if i am saying number okay the input is number because it is a string type it can hold any value but the moment i want to quit my loop i just write quit even though my loop is terminated i still i am getting that your input is quit this is not input this is a statement that helps me to uh, quit my loop so i want that if i enter quit then my loop should terminate i should not get any output i hope it is clear what i am talking about so what i can do is before printing this sys out i can just check for the condition if input dot equals to quit then do not print just break or go out of the loop if it is not break then only print it so let me just help you out with clear hi bye but the moment i write quit i don't get input as a quit i hope the concept is clear so break helps to terminate or go out of the block statement when you found this statement or a jump statement next we have a continue statement to work with in the same example let's understand continue statement is basically skip the iteration and passes the program control to the next iteration it does not terminates the loop guys it does not exit the loop it ignores the remaining statements that follow so let me help you with example in the same where we want to take a user as an input uh, when we say that the input is quit that will terminate the iteration but in case i wanted to give a condition when you wanted to enter pass so that you don't want to print just you wanted to pass the iteration to the next control let me help you out with so when uh, the co condition gets checked yes the continue statement will actually uh, pass the iteration will not terminate it so let me help you out with uh, the demo so for example the moment i run this program i just wanted to check 
if the user enters quit the loop has to terminate but if user enters the value as pass like pass that should not be the input that should go to the next iteration and ask for the next input so what i can do is i can just check it up here with one more if statement if input dot equals to pass then i should continue my loop let me help you out with so if i am saying hello that's very nice if i am saying bye that's okay if i am saying any number that's also fine if i say pass that will just pass the control to the next iteration will not print this statement whatever remaining statements are there if you have any it will just come here and will go for the next iteration if you write quit all you know is it will break the loop this is how my jump statements like break and continue works in a real time i hope the concept is pretty good to all of you we're going to use these statements loops conditions in a bigger iteration today we are here just to understand uh, how the basic flows of these conditional statements looping statements and non conditional statements that's also known as the jump statements works in a real time till next time stay tuned thank you